excuse me, Dukes. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry. Don't look at me like that. Oh, the effort. Oh, Dougal, if looks could kill. Look, I've got to turn the camera off. Look, do, do, I've got to turn the camera off. <laughs> oh. Oh, Dougal, you're being very difficult. Oh, oh, whatever you do, don't move. Oh, oh, oh. God, me. <sighs> Never work with children and animals. Hello, I am at Highland Auto Campers near Inverness. Now, some of you will remember that we met Mark and his wife Alicia last year when I came to see your camper van operation, the hire operation, and what you get when you hire a camper van here in Scotland. So, check out that video. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But, Mark, since then and during lockdown, you've been pretty busy, haven't you? <laughs> yes, we have been very busy. Yes, Working on a new project. Yeah, yeah, well, we, we basically rebuilt our website and, um, and then we decided to um, um, launch our new shop selling the Duvalet uh, sleeping bag systems. Duvalet. Now, it's interesting you mentioned that <laughs> word, Duvalet, Mark, because people who watch this channel a lot will also know that for about a past year I have been banging on about the fact that I would really like a duvalet because while I was full-timing in the Airstream and in Glynis um, I had this big double mattress topper it is huge and heavy and cumbersome it wasn't so bad in the Airstream but in Glynis I couldn't even get through the door <laughs> and I was thinking do you know what a duvalet is gonna make life so much easier so we had a little chat and the very lovely people at Duvalet said, would I like to try one out for review? After thinking about it for about two nanoseconds, I said, <laughs> yes, please. But the choice I found on the website, Mark, was just a little bit bewildering. I thought this would be a good opportunity to go through the differences in the different Duvalets and the yes. ones you've got in your shop. Yeah. Um, uh, the different sizes, the different widths and all this kind of thing. And then once we've gone through the sizes and the differences in what you can buy, I'm going to take my new Duvalet home and try it in Glynis and see how we get on. So we'll give you a little review as well. So full disclosure, Duvalet did provide my sample free of charge for me to, to use and I get to keep it. However, as regular viewers will know, I have to sleep at night and I don't just need a duvalet to sleep at night. I need a clear conscience. So total honesty, I will tell you exactly how it is. So I've gone for pretty much the largest duvalet sleeping bag you can get, which is five centimeter thick mattress topper, 10.5 tog duvet. It's 77 centimeters wide. And we're going to, first of all, compare the sizes of my the biggest one you can get and the smallest because mark and alicia you use the compact in the vans we're going to show you the package sizes and we'll measure them so you can see if they'll fit in your locker and then we'll get them out and compare them side by side so you can see how big the smallest one is the compact and the largest one is the 77 side wide so Let's go and check it out. Your nice brand new one there. This is mine, which is probably the biggest one you can get. So that's <laughs> 77 centimeters wide. Same and that is with a 10.5 top duvet. And that is five centimeter thick. Uh, topper. Top yeah. yeah, and then put that one on top. That's the compact, isn't it? This is the compact. So look at the size. This is about half the size, isn't it, Mark? It's almost, yeah. Oh, so the yeah. compact is on the 2.5 centimeter topper. Yeah, and yours is 58. 58 centimeters, which allows us to have two either side on and this. And that's got a summer duvet. This one's got a summer duvet, oh, as we're, winter duvet. we are actually in summer, yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, and mine's got the winter one. Um, they also do a 66 centimeter wide one. Yeah. So basically, folks, that's the biggest one, and that's the smallest one. Mark, would you mind measuring how, how long they are, please? Okay, so, yeah. so there we have it. That is what? So 77 centimetres or just over 30 inches. 58 centimetres or just under 23 inches. And what about the width? The width, about 
40 centimeters or 16 inch and like I say this one with the summer duvet in which is obviously the smallest we're going to go mm -hmm. is approximately just under 26 centimeters or just below 11 inches brilliant so again as i say folks that's the smallest one that's the biggest one and and the 66 is sort of in between obviously in between obviously yeah. well, be 66 wide, won't <laughs> it? Yeah. right let's get them out and see how they look side by side okay so the way we have them normally set up in our camper vans is the duvelets is we have them you can roll them up and have them at the back here on the on the shelf and then at the, in the evening when you're ready to go to bed what we do drop our bed down oh, that's so sweet and as you can see, Andrew's monster. My monster. His monster. <laughs> monster duvet. Monster duvet. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost a double. But the thing is, Mark, if, if a single person's in a camper van, and there are a lot of single people in camper vans, that is perfect, isn't it? That's 77 wide. Yeah. yeah, that's absolutely ideal. But if there's two of you. But if there's two of you, as you we get. have with ours, is. If I can show you. So this is our 66 centimeter. Sorry, 58, 58. centimeter. Which when you have two side by side because this is the clever thing mark as well isn't it you can put them together okay so at the moment this is in the standard way it's set up but what you can do is you turn this inside out so you kind of turn it inside out and you can put them sort of side by side if you are well you know feeling a little so, bit oops, romantic hang on. you want to be Try not to get Mark's builders bumped. Romantic. You've got. You can then have the other one facing that way. So, so it now produces one nice big double bed. Or if you've had it, if you're in a huff, you can turn it back the other way. Turn it back the other way. And you can keep. You can have your own privacy. <laughs> so we got the. Uh, <laughs> We've got the romance option and you've got the um the, 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 the tiff option <laughs> the huffy option the huffy option <laughs> super brilliant thanks mark now before we talk about the thickness of the toppers in the duvalet sleeping bags um duvalet you also sell mattress toppers yep. on their own as well probably a lot less cumbersome yes. than the one i've been trying to use <laughs> so the proper ones for uh, so yours is 2.5 centimeters thick and yep. these are four and five so why would you have obviously that's compact mm -hmm. 2.5 and these are much bigger as we've seen yeah um what can you help people choose please yeah basically so the reason we've gone for the um we normally use the 2.5 centimeters as you said uh main reason being as as you can see from our vans we use on these conversions we use the um titan rock and roll bed which as you can see is very very flat mm -hmm. so therefore the 2.5 centimeters is, is more than adequate to give you that little bit just to take out these final little small contours yeah. whereas some manufactured rock and roll beds and uh, caravan beds are just cushions and things like that so a bit more contoured in which case yes you might well be looking at going for something a little bit thicker which is like these ones which this is the comfort range yeah <coughs> which is what you've got so yours is the five centimeter like we said but you also do a four centimeter and obviously this is then going to take out all of those contours you're not going to feel any because i'm making up my bed from the dinette cushions exactly yes yes um so yeah so they'll take it all, all those all those lumps and bumps out but like i say for us with it's been with the titan bed it's much uh, smoother so we, and all our customers have been have raved and said how wonderful they are even in the 2.5 centimeter uh, but we also do the um the next the next range up from the comfort is we have got the fresh tech which is the same thicknesses same comfort levels um, but those ones are cooling as well the material it, it cools you down as well um, so if you do sleep quite hot and you know you need to cool yourself down at night then they're perfect for that sort of thing brilliant and then again people will remember last year i had that beautiful airstream missouri that had a proper duvalet mattress in it um so if people are replacing their motorhome even their mattress at home because yes. that mattress that duvalet mattress was better 
than the John Lewis mattress I've bought for my house. <laughs> and uh, so you, you sell those as well? Yeah, that we do beautiful. sell those. Yeah, there's three different ranges of those, um, three different comfort levels, and they can be manufactured to any um, specification as well. If, all you've got to do is, if you've got a specific uh, motorhome or caravan, if you give us the, um, the make and model number, we can make it, we can have it made to exactly yeah. the dimensions that will suit your make and model. Or if you're a self builder or something like that, and you want, you've got specific requirements, then all you need to do is just send us a drawing and we can have it manufactured to exactly your to your specifications okay smash in so thank you i think we'll um if we roll these up now and then um i'm going to take this one back to my caravan and try it out for myself cool okay so we're now in my vintage caravan glynis and as you may know i replaced the cushions last year so they're quite firm because i bought them for longevity and I've been sleeping on the duvelet now, or in the duvelet for best part of a week. And I honestly, it is wonderful. I have slept so well every night. I've had no problems getting to sleep. It's nice and warm. I'm really pleased I went for the winter duvet because I prefer a cool caravan and a warm bed. Obviously, if you're a hot sleeper, you'll go for the um, the summer duvet, the thinner duvet, uh, the 4.5, but I found the 10.5 has been really warm, very good for me. One thing I would say is that this uh, extra deep, I think the five centimeter memory foam here, it's super comfortable. I really, really sleep well, but measure your lockers folks, because this, even when it's rolled up, it's too big to go into the locker under the seat in this small caravan. So I think if I did it all again, I would probably go for the four centimeter, just the regular memory foam thickness here, not the super thick if, if storage is an issue. I'm gonna move into the Airstream next week and the Airstream has got bigger lockers. So that's gonna be really interesting to see if this fits in the Airstream. So we will roll it up now, put it away. I've been putting it in the car uh, during the day, which has been no bother. It can get in and out the door fine. So we will try it in the Airstream next week. And also we will try changing the cover because I've heard people say that changing the cover can be a bit of a pain. So we'll give that a go once we're in the airstream. Okay, so as you can see, we're back in the airstream and first things first, some really good news. And that is, you can see in the larger lockers of the Airstream, we can fit both the duvelet and the pillow, the larger size. Now then, I t oh, sorry, Dougal. Now then, I took advantage of switching caravans to wash the cover, and now I'm going to try and put the cover on. So uh, let's see how we get on.
Right, well that wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting. Yes, it is a, more of a faff than just putting on the duvet cover because you've got to put on the uh, cover to the memory foam as well. But it was pretty straightforward. You've got to remember to sort of put your finger inside the zip as you're zipping up to make sure it doesn't sort of bunch up the material and, and uh, clog up the zip. I managed to forget when I was putting the duvet on and um, managed to get the zip stuck for about a minute but no it, it was actually not too bad at all you know it's a faff it's more of a faff than say using a sleeping bag liner but then it's less of a faff than using a separate memory foam topper so you sort of pays your money and takes your choice at the end of the day because this is so convenient you'd only do that sort of once a week when you're washing the uh, the cover uh, it's so convenient, it's so comfortable. This one in particular even fits in the Airstream locker. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the Duvalet shop at Highland Auto Campers. So do check that out for up to date prices and the full range of what's available. A huge thank you to Mark and Alicia at Highland Auto Campers for organizing this vlog and to Duvalet for supplying this very lovely sleeping bag. Um, I've not let it influence this review. As many regular viewers will know, I pride this channel on being honest and of integrity. And I can honestly say, this is really comfortable. It's really good. And I'm really pleased with it. So yeah, I do recommend it. It's very nice. So I hope you found this useful. And if you did, you know what to do, folks. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say, from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. Are you finding it comfortable, Dougal? Hmm? I think we can take that as a yes. Smile, Dougal. Smile. Smile. He never smiles.